Hi, I'm Raman, your Alberta real estate tutor. Today we'll talk about what do the most successful students have in common? I get this question a lot. Everybody wants to know what do I do in order to prepare for the exam? How do I pass the exam? So I thought I would talk about the traits that I have seen in my successful students. First thing is to create a study plan. I have found that the students who prepare a study plan and set aside time to study are the ones that are most successful. So what do I mean by that? When you create your study plan, you want to make sure that you have time allocated to study every day. I do recommend that you study every day because if you study once a week, you may forget what you did the last week and you will not be able to then continue on with the program. We all have busy lives. Most of the people who go through these programs have had another career in their life. They're usually switching careers. Are you one of those? I knew it. If so, you want to make sure that you create a study plan because it really will help you in preparing for your exam. There is a lot of material to cover, so make sure you set aside time every day, every week in order to study. If you do it a little bit at a time, it will be so much easier for you to get through the content. So I recommend getting through all the content once and then set two weeks aside for preparing for your exam. During this time, you want to make sure that you go through all your notes. This is the time that you want to go through all your activities as well as quizzes at the end of the units. And you also want to look through your notes and see what kind of questions you can expect on the exam. As I have talked about in previous videos, there are two types of questions. One are glossary questions. So these are your definition questions and other ones are scenario questions. So if you understand the concepts properly, you will be able to answer these questions properly. The next thing is to manage your time properly. You have 18 months to prepare for these exams. So you have two exams that you need to write, Fundamentals of Real Estate, as well as one of the optional courses, which could be Residential, Commercial, Rural, or Property Management. And overall, it's 18 months to cover both of these exams. Now, I find a lot of times people will come to me when it's towards the end of their program. So they may have a couple of months left and now they are struggling to go through the material. Like I said before, we all have busy lives, we have families, we have our jobs and other responsibilities. You wanna make sure that you allocate the time properly so you're planning properly to study. So do not leave everything to the end start doing the stuff right away. It's actually better if you front load it. So you want to do most of your stuff right up front because when you sign up for a course, that's when you have the most motivation to go through it. However, if you leave it, then you'll find that it will just drag on. So front load your study plan, make sure you do it right up front. Like I said, you can actually do this exam fairly quickly. You only need about a couple of months to really go through all the material. Even though you have 18 months, you can do this in two months, but you do have to put the time and effort in order to study. So that's why I'm saying if you're front loaded, you get your stuff done right up front, you will be able to go through this material quickly. You do want to make sure that as you're covering the material, as you're going through your videos, that you make notes. Notes will be very, very important when it's time to prepare for your exam because not everything is important. The concepts that are important or the areas that you find that you're not understanding the stuff properly, those are the areas that you want to have detailed notes on. And then when it comes time to prepare for the exam, make sure you go through those notes so you don't have to cover the, all of the material again. And last but not least, you have to do the work. So be prepared to work on this. This is not an exam that you can take lightly. It does take a lot of work. If you are not from real estate industry, if you're coming from another field, there will be a lot of concepts that you may not have heard of before. Even though we have lived in houses and we may have owned houses, 
the property concepts, especially around real estate act can be quite challenging to understand and wrap your head around. So make sure you have a study plan, you set time aside, and most importantly, you actually study. If you think you can just breeze through this exam, I have found that it doesn't work that way unless you have worked in the industry before then yes, you can breeze through the exam, but otherwise there are a lot of concepts that you need to spend time on. So make sure you do take the time to study and prepare well for the exam. So those are some of the things that I have found that are common amongst all the students that have done really well in, their, in this exam. But overall, it's not that challenging. There are concepts that you will need to understand and you will have to study. If you follow these three principles, you will be able to ace the exam. That's it for today. If you would like my help in passing the exam or preparing for the exam, I invite you to visit www.albertarealestateschool.com and make sure to comment, subscribe, and like the video. That's it for today. I'll see you next time.